I know Brock Faber is like what a lot of people are saying. You know, not a lot, but some people are campaigning. And yes, he's had a tremendous season. He has. Um, but when you look at the month of March, the Blackhawks entered with the worst record in the league mm-hmm. in March. Mm-hmm. The Wild entered March with playoff hopes. Yes. They were right outside a wild card spot. Yeah, right there. Blackhawks won seven games in March. Wild won seven games in March. There you go. <laughs> but I mean, what was the plus minus, Greg? And the thing is, though, <laughs> Connor Bedard is going to win the Calder. There's no doubt. Yes. Yeah. It's done. And he deserves it. Mm-hmm. Brock Faber's been really, really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, you know what I've had like enough of seeing? It's not the people in Minnesota... Th- Pumping the tires for their guy. I get that. Mm-hmm. We've, we, we've been guilty in our lives of pumping tires for guys that we think should win awards. <laughs> it's happened. I don't think so. We'll probably do it again. <laughs> pumping tires. <laughs> what I'm tired of seeing is like the Blackhawk fans that randomly just need to take shots at Brock Faber in the wild. Why are you punching down? Yeah. Who yeah, cares? Not, That's true. Yeah. I mean, you I can make fun of to. the people who like started the campaign for this, but even that's old at this point. Like... Appreciate the fact that you have the best rookie in the league. Appreciate the fact that maybe in two or three years, it's the best player in the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who cares what the Minnesota Wild have? Because they're insignificant. They always have been. They always will be. <laughs> There's no rivalry there. Brock Faber is going to be watching Connor Bedard score a lot of goals in the Stanley Cup playoffs from his hotel room in wherever he's on his golf trip in May every year. So or from the blue line where Bedard broke his ankles. Exactly. <laughs> the Wild are insignificant. They're, they're not important to the Blackhawks. Yeah. So why punch down? You're wasting your time. It makes you look petty. Well, I will say this, and part of me feels like a lot of the people in Minnesota that started this campaign were kind of like, all right, we know he's not going to win it, but let's make a stink and build up some Brock Faber awareness because it's worked. And it, it, it has. Because in a typical year, a guy like Brock Faber would go unnoticed because guess what? We're seeing it here in Chicago with Alex Vlasic, mm. right? Like, He's a guy, a young player who is having a tremendous season, but it's not flashy numbers wise. Mm-hmm. There's not a lot of highlight reel plays from him. He's just solid. He's just steady, and he deserves some attention. And I get it. I get what they're trying to do. And I think mission accomplished. I, people around hockey now know who Brock Faber is. I just think that now you're getting a lot of people. If you're not from St. Paul, from Minneapolis, St. Paul, you're, his name is met with a bunch of eye rolls now. Yeah, and I, and and look like he is. If Connor Bedard wasn't in the NHL this year, Brock Faber would be the rookie of the year. Like he's, he yeah. he would be leading rookies in points. He'd be playing you know an astronomical amount of minutes for a rookie defenseman. Like it's all well and good, but Connor Bedard is is come in and put the highlight reels together, put up the points. You know, carried a Blackhawks team offensively. That has been inept without him. So it's 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 just enough is there to be like it's 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 a hands down kind of uh, kind of deal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We all silly like the mayor. 